What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lyman Football. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys the full review on the Rydell TCP chin strap. Okay, so to start off, this retails on Rydell's website for $24.99. You can also pick it up on other sites like Sports Unlimited. You can find them on Amazon, eBay. You can find them anywhere. Even in my local stores, they have them. And uh, they retail between the $25 to $29 range, depending on their markup. So it should be somewhere in there. So as far as everything goes for colorways, of course, there's going to be tons of options. There's really no worry there about finding the right color for you, especially if you order through Rydell's website. They'll have tons. Now the typical style has two sets of buckles and it's actually, I'm just noticing this for some reason, the Rydell logos are on backwards. Uh, very weird. But, so there's basically this style right here which has the four attachment points. There's also the one specifically for the Speedflex which has two attachment points at the top and the two ratchet locking systems on the bottom. Okay, so basically this chin strap combi combines two different types of chin straps and that's what I'll get into now. Okay, so first here I have a Sports Star hard cup style chin strap and it has a foam on the inside with a gel right there and then I also have just the basic Rydell soft cup chin strap so the benefits of the sports star chin strap is obviously you're going to be the you have the hard plastic shell on the outside and then you also have another piece of foam to act as a um, another cushioning layer for absorbing impact now the problem with that is the tighter you make it to your face it, instead of forming around, it just pushes up into your face. So there's not a lot of form fit when it comes to this. That's why they have different sizing and a whole, like six different models, especially for the Sports Star ones. So there's tons of models. To try and get the perfect fit because it doesn't mold to your face initially. You have to get the one that is already pre-molded to your face. Well, now we have the standard one and when it gets pulled, it can flex. You can see, right? Just because it's just a piece of leather. So it can flex So when you pull it, it goes and molds to your chin. It's a one size fits all style. Okay, now at the same time though, you have you have none of the protection with this. So now what Rydell's done with the TCP chin strap is the liner on the inside, the black liner here, is actually a different piece than the hard shell on the outside. So how that works is the liner on the inside has these four attachment points. There are these white things right here. And what those do is the black liner, I'm not sure if you can see, it's actually almost floating Right, you can see how it's detached from there. So you have all the benefits of a hard shelled case on the outside, but then when you pull it, see if I can show it, it can flex, it's kind of hard to show, it can flex and mold to your chin. Now with this liner, you can obviously see, we'll get some shine in the light. It's a very, um, almost like rubber-like material. So it's not gonna be great for wicking away sweat. It's actually gonna make sweat almost hold on your chin, which will make the chin strap really sweaty and very slippery, so it'll be hard to stay on your chin. But no worries, if you get any chin acne from using this, I obviously have a video, my top three tips on how to clear up chin acne, so go check that out. Just to see if you can also see here, there's a couple layers to this, so right here you can see there's a foam inside, then there's the um, almost fabric that goes around it, around there. So you can see, technically with this, there's uh, three different layers of materials working to help absorb. Also on the inside, this one does have its own gel pack, you can see right in there, it says um, TCP on the gel pack. Let's see if it can, there we go. That TCP is a gel pack similar to the style like on the Sports Star chin strap. Now, if you want to take this apart and clean it, uh, the inside liner here does attach by these four white dots, but because there's no, um, I don't see any screws or anything like that holding it together, if there are plastic screws, I'm not going to mess with taking it apart because I don't know if I'll be able to get it back together. The easiest way is to clean it, you can either use rubbing alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, something like that, even soap and water. Just something to clean this material as this will really hold sweat. Now this is also pretty deep chin strap, so at the same time, if you wanted to use a cover on top of it, it is possible. But using a hard cover, or using a cover on uh, hard shelled chin straps, I found very ineffective in the past as it almost gets rid of the cup shape you have here and your chin sits too far outside of it so it slips around a lot. I found covers usually work the best when you're working with a very thin chin strap where it can really still dig in and create that nice molded cup. So there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed that video today. Again, if you liked that video, please hit that like button as that is a tremendous help to me. If you really liked it though, go ahead and share it as that is an even bigger help. If you guys like the LF shirts, wait till the end of the video. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this and as always, thanks.